Survival is the most fundamental property in animals. In terms of function, a living animal has the property of not changing its physical state significantly from its ideal state. In physiology, this property is called homeostasis. Homeostat is a concept proposed by Ross Ashby in classical cybernetics. This is a mathematical conceptualization of homeostasis, in which the system controls the internal state to remain within the limited range through its interaction with the outside. However, the homeostat realized at the time was extremely small and difficult to scale. Homeostatic reinforcement learning is a concept proposed in computational neuroscience. In HRL, homeostasis was linked to mechanisms of behavioral learning. This explains the acquisition of animal behavior for homeostasis. Here again, however, the scale-up problem remains unsolved. And this time, we scaled homeostat with deep neural networks. Named, Neural Homeostat. This is the result of our neural homeostat agent, which is trained for the homeostasis of two nutrients corresponding to red and blue food. The trajectory of the nutrients is controlled around the origin of the target. The agent receives a laser range sensor for the object, its postural state, and the nutrients inside its body to compute its behavior. The agent learned to walk, navigate to objects, and not to take food. The neural homeostat is a framework for embodied agents to achieve homeostasis through deep reinforcement learning. To do so, the agent receives the following inputs. Interoception, the agent receives the internal state of the body. The agent's goal is to ensure that this does not deviate too much from the set point. Proprioception, the agent also receives joint angles and body posture. Extraception, the agent receives information about the external world. That is, the range finder or vision. The agent converts them into motor outputs by non-linear processing of the neural network. The performance of the current action is then estimated by the value function module for behavior optimization. Deep convolutional neural networks are used for image input. We found that clamping this agent's sense of nutritional level changed the agent's behavior. This can be used to analyze the agent's behavioral preferences. As a result, we confirmed that the agent dynamically changes its preferences for food, depending on its internal body condition. It can be made into a different problem by changing the agent's sense of internal states. In this environment, the agent has body temperature and needs to regulate it, while regulating the body's internal energy. The neural homeostat maintains homeostasis by feeding while keeping the body temperature constant through behavior. This is an example of the response to a heat shock to a neural homeostat after training. In the simulation, heat is generated in response to the robot's motor output. When the neural homeostat is faced to an increase in body temperature, it lowers its body temperature by temporarily reducing the motor activities. Conversely, when the body temperature is lowered, the neural homeostat shows behavior that increases the body temperature by increasing the motor activities. Using deep convolutional neural networks, we were able to construct an agent whose input was an egocentric vision rather than handcrafted features. This allows the agent to use only the raw sensor data attached to the body, and to extract and use features important for survival. Again, we were able to confirm the homeostasis of the nutritional state in the neural homeostat. We visualized the internal process of an optimized model of the agent, using salient C maps. This allows us to see from which areas of the image the agent is more influenced in its behavior. We can see that the neural homeostat agent decides its behavior by extracting the food of each color, the legs, and the walls in the environment. These do not come from externally given motives, but all come from the agent's goal of survival.